What is up, Math Superstar? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, I'm bringing to you comparing and ordering fractions. So here we're given this example, and in the directions, the directions tell us to use greater than, less than, or equal to. So our very first step is we're going to find the least common denominator of the fractions here in order to compare. So we know that between 1 3rd and 5 12 when we compare our denominators, we need to have a common denominator of 12. To go ahead and compare these. So 5 12 will stay the same. But to go from 1 3rd to have a denominator of 12, we need to multiply our numerator and our denominator by 4. So 3 times 4 gives us 12 as our denominator. So 1 times 4 gives us 4. And now we need to determine using greater than or less than or equal to 4 twelfths is what the 5 twelfths. And so now all we have to do is look at the numerator here. And we know that 5 is greater than 4. So in saying this, I would say that 4 twelfths is do, 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 less than 5 twelfths. And when you see things like ordering fractions, and it gives you several fractions in a row, what the biggest thing you can do is go through these steps. So you, you'd find common denominators, you'd rewrite each fraction, and then all you have to do at the very end is compare the numerators and follow the directions. In ordering, it will either say least to greatest or ascending, or greatest to least or descending.